Hey guys! I wanted to do a dupes video today, but I really don't like the term dupes because to me dupes should be 100% spot on. But a lot of products I've found lately are, I would say, 95% spot on. Now when you're wearing a product that is 95% spot on, you can't tell the difference that it is not the other product you might be thinking of. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this is because all of the dupes are actually lower costing alternatives. So, why I was inspired to do this originally was because a week ago, I went to the drugstore and I finally bought Annabelle's Goddess Eyeshadow. I've been looking at the eyeshadow for a long time. Don't know why I never picked it up. Well, now I know why. This is what it looks like. When I got home, I was like, wow, looks like something I know. Then I went looking through my MAC collection, and here they are next to each other. MAC's Amber Light and Annabelle's Goddess are practically the same shade. Now here these are side by side. Here's Goddess, here's Amber Lights from MAC. This is one third of the price of this. These two I would say are 99.9% .9 a dupe. Now throughout the video I'll show you guys because a lot of the products that I'm going to show you I have one item on half of my face and the other item on the other side of my face. I'm not wearing these today but I wanted to start with these because this is why I wanted to do the video. Now unfortunately going through my makeup collection I easily, easily came across dupes. Alright, so let's get into it. The second set of dupes I have is one of the what do they call these? The Lancome Color Design Infinity Eyeshadow. This one's in the color Vibrant Violet. And the dupe is a L'Oreal Infallible in the color Purple Obsession. That's what they look like next to each other. Now these guys are actually owned by the same head company. So these are probably pretty much the same product but packaged differently. I would say this one is about 95% the same. I mean when you look at it really really up close there's a tiny tiny difference but on the lids there's pretty much no way you could tell. One's a tiny bit darker than the other. Even the stoppers to the product are identical just saying makes me feel completely completely ridiculous because when I bought this one in New York I thought I had found the most gorgeous purple shade and I've had this since the L'Oreal Infallibles came out la la um, here's another dupe now the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencil this is in the shade Clash now, when you get the full size of these, you're looking at a, a little over $20. If you get a jumbo eye pencil from NYX in the color Electric Blue, Urban Decay, NYX. You're looking at pretty much the same shade. This is four times the price of this. And I mean, on the eyes, again, look the same. I'm just, I don't know, I need to stop saying it, but damn it. All right. Next is another eyeshadow. So in the NYX trio, you have Walnut Bronze, which is this shade here. And it is pretty much a dupe for Max Sable. So I will swatch these. Here you go. They're pretty much the same thing. Now this trio is literally one fourth to one fifth the price of this one MAC eyeshadow. 
and I really really love sable now I'm actually wearing sable on this eye in the crease and I'm wearing bronze walnut on this eye in the crease I dare you to find a difference <laughs> they're so spot on makes me feel stupid <laughs> So I really wanted to do this video because I've seen other dupes videos and a lot of them and I really didn't think I had really a lot of them in my collection so if you go looking through your stash I'm sure you'll find dupes. Here's a really really popular blush from MAC called Gingerly and the dupe is from Essence and it's called Natural Beauty. These I would say are 95% spot on. There's a tiny bit more red in Gingerly, but I'm wearing Gingerly on this side and Natural Beauty on this side. And I mean, I've left the house today knowing that I was fine and that they matched up. I will so wash them. Here you go. Pretty much, again, very very close to the same thing here are some lip liners so this is my NARS lip liner in Tonga and we all know NARS is not cheap and here's a Rimmel lip liner in Innocent here you go the NARS one is on top and the Rimmel one is at the bottom I'm actually wearing the NARS one on my bottom lip and the Rimmel one on my top lip. They end up looking the same when you're wearing them. Now here's something I've never seen anybody talk in a dupes video. It is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Brilliant Rose. And that's what it looks like here in the tube. And this is pretty much the same color as the Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, but the brightener or the illuminator in this shade. There you go. MAC Maybelline. I'm actually wearing MAC here underneath this eye, and I'm wearing the Maybelline one here underneath this eye. Seriously, again... I would say this is they're pretty much half price to each other, maybe even a little less than half price. So I'm almost a third of the price for you to get the Maybelline one to the MAC Prep and Prime. This is like my second tube of this I'm going through. This is my first MAC Prep and Prime, but if I had paid attention, I maybe would have never bought this one just because I love this product and they end up looking the same on. And as you can see, they're pretty much the same highlighter for underneath the eyes I put it sometimes down my nose a little bit on the cheek on the cheek on the chin or here on the forehead just to kind of give you an illuminated look kind of where the light would hit your face but honestly they're pretty much the same thing here's another dupe that I talked about in my favorites so here's Stila's kitten eyeshadow and then here's the new Maybelline Color Tattoo Pigment in Barely Brazen. So I'm wearing Stila on this side in the inner corner and on my lid. And I'm wearing the Maybelline Barely Brazen on this side. I will swatch these. There you go. And I mean... I love Stila Kitten, but I've broken so many of these, and I don't want to travel with these because this is the softest, most buttery eyeshadow known to man, and you look at it, and it breaks. This, in a little plastic container, ah, girly spring, close it on right, and I will throw this in my makeup bag without any fears, and like I said, I'm wearing them today I find that the steel one has a tiny bit more peach but when you apply it on you really can't see the difference 
Now, here's another dupe, and this is two products that are completely, completely different. So here's the Chanel Illusion d'Ombre. So these are one of these cream mousse shadows, and I've put quite a dent in this one. I love this shade. So you can wear this on its own or as a base. And ooh, love it. But the other day I noticed that it was almost the same shade as one of my jumbo eye pencils from NYX in the color Sparkle Nude. And if I put Sparkle Nude on my other finger, there you go. They're pretty much the same thing. Now, the Chanel one will run you, I think, close to... Okay mid 30s if not more so th let's say 35 dollars around there when i got this one at imax a few years ago probably for three or four dollars so 35 to 40 probably four dollars and both of these stay on long and you can use these as bases or on their own i don't have oily eyelids i have heard that if you have oily eyelids that the jumbo nyx pencils do crease but if you have really oily eyelids maybe even this would crease but I mean for the difference in money the color payoff you get pretty much the same now of course I did find a few lipstick dupes so here's the Viva Glam Nikki from MAC so the original Viva Glam and I absolutely love this shade but it's almost identical to the CoverGirl Temptress if you look at them together see how close they are and the Viva Glam is on top the Temptress is on the bottom and you can tell there's a tiny tiny bit of difference but I've worn both of these and most of the time people ask me even when I'm wearing this one are you wearing Max Viva Nikki so sometimes I have been but sometimes I haven't. <laughs> so this dupe I already knew of from a while back. Um, and the only reason why I noticed it is because people kept asking me when I was wearing this one last summer um, if it was Viva Nikki. I think it was last, yeah, last summer pretty much. Now another dupe um, is Max Rebel. And I mean these... CoverGirl lipsticks are some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. It's called Embrace from the same line as the other CoverGirl lipsticks I showed. And here they are. They are so similar that on the lips you can't see the difference. Now there's a tiny tiny bit more intensity in the MAC Rebel. But when you have it on, especially if you're wearing a lip liner, you pretty much won't see the difference. And these lipsticks are definitely twice the price as the CoverGirl lipsticks. Now, here's a dupe. The, the color is spot on, but the finish is different. So I've been wearing a lot lately. Oh, I've been wearing it a lot <laughs> mixed with another shade. And this is pretty pathetic of me. So here's Max Candy Yum Yum. Everybody knows this shade. Here it is. But if you put it next to one of the Maybelline Vivids in Fuchsia Flash, the finish is not the same because there's a sheen on the Maybelline Vivids, but the color is pretty much spot on. So you don't want to invest in a MAC lipstick because you find them too expensive or you don't like the finish of a matte but you really like a crazy bold neon lipstick maybe pick up the Maybelline Color Vivid but again double or twice the price double or twice double or triple the price because I got this one on sale so and it's so ridiculous because there was so many shades in this line and I only picked up two and then one of the ones I picked up is a spot on for a shade I already have. Now the last dupe I wanted to show you guys 
is these two. So this is a um, Lip Gelée from MAC in the color Moon Dust. And then this is the Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss in Dazzle Glow. Now if you look at the packaging on the side, this is the exact same shade with the exact same shimmers inside. This cost me $3 and this was in the mid-20s. So I'll show you guys. So I'm wearing actually the MAC Lip Gelée on my bottom lip and then I'm wearing the Essence um, XXL Shine on my top lip. So, I'm swatching it for you, but MAC one to the left, the Essence one to the right, and as you can see, the base color is the same, and the shimmer is the same, and the shimmer size is the same as well, so for the difference in price, pretty much the same thing. So these are the dupes that I found, guys, that I wanted to show you. This really didn't take me long to go through my stash to pick and choose things that ended up being dupes or really lower alternative options. So before you go out and buy something expensive, if you think you've seen the shade around, you probably have. Again, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Look at all these. Ah, wasting my money.